What's up guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the three reasons why I think that you should go into sales. I'm that Agent Kelly, I talk about real estate, I talk about real estate investing, and I talk about some mindset stuff. If you enjoyed this content, all I ask is that you thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get into this video. All right guys, so just some background on me. Uh, I was a plumber for eight and a half years before I got into real estate. I made great money doing that, treated me very well. At the age of 25, I was able to buy three properties, had a car paid off, had some money in stocks, had some money in crypto, but I wasn't happy. I was working a lot, it was really hard on my body, I was tired all the time, and I just felt like I needed something more for my life. I lived very frugally for seven or eight years to save up money and to be able to do all this, and I just found that if I wanted to start living the lifestyle that I actually wanted to live, it would be 10 years from now. So I would be putting off my happiness for another 10 years to finally do what I wanted to be able to do, and I just figured that's not okay. So at the end of the day, I was following all of these guys, like consuming educational content like crazy books, podcasts, YouTube, and uh, I found that all the guys that I followed for whatever reason that I looked up to that I just clicked with the best were all real estate agents at some point or another. And that's what kind of led me into real estate. And it ended up working out extremely well for me and I would highly recommend anybody get into sales. So let's talk about the first thing. They say you are the average of the five people you hang out with the most. Growing up, I never really knew anybody that had a lot of money, didn't know anybody that drove a nice car, had a nice house or anything like that. I mostly just hung out, hung out with a bunch of people that were in the middle class, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, but your mindset is aligned with the people that you hang out with the most. So going into sales when I was hanging out with uh, really high net worth people that had all of these things, the biggest thing that changed for me when I'm rubbing shoulders with all these kinds of people was that the Porsche, the Lambo, the nice house, all of these things started to seem normal to me. They weren't impossible, they were just normal, right? Uh, and obviously I don't have all of those things right now. I understand that it takes time, but it's the mindset shift that's so important when you go into a sales position and you're hanging out with these kinds of people was that all of the things that seemed like I would never have them and it's impossible and all this stuff, instantly the goalposts in my mind changed to, I will have those things at some point in my life, I just gotta put the time in. It's not impossible, right? So the mindset shift you get from going into a sales position and being around these high net worth people. Not that there aren't high net worth people in most of the other jobs, uh, it's just unlikely that you're gonna be rubbing shoulders with them. Like for example, I was a plumber before um, and the only high net worth person at my company was the guy who owned it and obviously I wasn't gonna be spending a lot of time with him. Right, so that was the, the biggest change for me from going from uh, a regular job like that into a sales position. Number two is the unlimited earning potential. If you wanna reach a level of financial independence at an early age, you will not get there by saving money or investing. I'm sure there's a few one-off cases of somebody buying a stock or a cryptocurrency and it 100Xing but that's not real life and that's not going to happen for most people. So the only realistic way to get there early on in your life is to make more money, which I understand most people don't wanna hear and that was a hard pill for me to swallow as well, but that is the reality. You have zero control whether a stock goes up and down in price, but one thing you can control is your everyday actions. You have full control over your performance and that's the thing with sales. The amount you get paid is not based on your skill or it's not based on how many hours you work. It's based on how you perform and the results that you get from your performance. So if you can perform in an exceptional way, then you're going to be compensated in an exceptional way. And of course that should lead to accomplishing your goals much faster so long as you can develop the character into somebody who can perform very well consistently. And number three, character development. You will not succeed in sales unless you level up yourself as a person. If you wanna become somebody who makes a lot of money then you shouldn't actually chase money. Just like a girl, they typically run away from you if you chase them. If you chase money, it'll run away from you. So instead, you should focus on leveling up your character and your skills and your attributes, almost like a video game, to become somebody who's worthy of making that much money. You attract money. 
you don't chase it. Money attracts to people. You become a better person and this will lead to making more money. And it also crosses over into other aspects of your life. Because you're forced to develop your character and become a better person to be successful in sales, as a result of that, you're gonna have better relationships, better friendships, a better relationship with your wife, a better relationship with your husband. You're going to be happier and you'll probably end up being healthier because st uh, statistics show that the healthiest people, or sorry, statistics show that the happiest people tend to be the healthiest people as well. And when you are working an hourly or salary job, there's very little incentive to actually become a better person. It's usually just dependent on improving your skill or working there for a certain period of time and that allows you to get a raise, but there's really no incentive to actually leveling up yourself as a person, becoming a better person and building better relationships. with. In sales, you need to be a good person to be successful in sales. Very rarely are you gonna be somebody who doesn't have integrity and be massively successful in the sales world. All right, so that's just my short take on getting a sales job and why I think you should go into sales. I think it's an amazing way to make money for anybody. And uh, there's also a lot of flexibility with it. You probably won't have that in the very beginning. But anyways, if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.